What's up everyone? My name is Mary and I'm a fitness and sports instructor for CFP Halifax at the Dockyard Gym. Um, today's class, I think this is the new one, I don't know if we've done this maybe last week, but it's called Total Body Conditioning. So it's pretty much going to be what it sounds like. We're going to do upper, lower, core, and you're hopefully going to get really sweaty. Uh, you don't need any equipment for this at all. If you have a mat, you can use one. I do recommend probably wearing shoes. I'm not going to be wearing shoes because we're in the yoga room. It has a nice soft surface, but there will be some jumping options for certain things. So just keep that in mind. Of course, I'll always give you a non-jumping option because we're aware that you might be um, in like a higher floor in an apartment or something. All right, quick disclaimer to get out of the way. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown. And it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If a CAF member sustains an injury during this video, please remember to fill out ACF 98. Um, apart from me talking really loud, I do see your comment, Stanley, but uh, I think you just need to turn up the volume on your own thing. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with our equipment here. Um, like if I turn the volume up, I believe that that's just what I would hear. So I'll just try to yell really loud, uh, but maybe you could turn up the volume on your own device. I'm not sure what you're using or what's working. Uh, if it's really hard to hear me, maybe like someone else let me know as well. So I know that it's like everyone and not just you, um, but I will, I'm pretty loud. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Last quick thing, please use the hashtags CAF PSP Fitness or CPPS PFAC. Please play your own music and please check out the PSP Facebook page, which you obviously checked out right now, uh, because we are starting stuff for the Navy 10K. It's going to be virtual this year, so just make sure to check that out. All right, so we're going to get started with our warm up here. Like I said, if you're just jumping in, you don't need any equipment, a mat might be good. I have the privilege of being in our yoga room with a nice soft floor, so I'm just going straight on the floor. So starting with some jumping jacks just to get our heart rate up. You can always tap if you can't jump because of your floor. Otherwise, nice and light on the feet. Just doing 20 of these. Getting some blood moving. And 20. Same thing with butt kicks. You can go non-jumping or you can run. That's okay with you. Kicking yourself in the butt, getting your hamstrings warm. For three, two, and one. Same thing with high knees. You can go here or nice and quick. more here and good all right coming into the skater lunge so we're just gonna go to one side you're gonna make sure you engage your side butt that glute meat here lunge to the other side so your opposite arm comes into counterbalance we're not really jumping yet we're gonna do a jumping version of this later so you're just stepping stabilizing with that standing leg Good, if you feel good with this, you can start to add a little leap. Let's do two more each side here. And one more for good luck. Beautiful. All right, gorilla squats are next. So you're gonna grab your ankles, maybe your big toes if that's okay. Without letting go of those, you're gonna sink your hips as low as you can and then press them all the way up to the sky. That's one, we're doing 10.
Try to sink your hips just a millimeter lower each time. Building some heat in the legs. I'm on eight. One more good one. Ten. All right. Coming down, you can kneel or be in plank for this. Sorry, I'm paranoid about the volume now. Good morning, mom. All right, so from plank, I'll go sideways. You can see either high plank or kneeling plank. You're just gonna step that one foot out in front. Make sure your knee's over your ankle, twisting towards the knee. Then we're gonna twist away from the knee. And then we're gonna just step back and switch to the other side. So same thing, stepping forward, Twisting towards your knee first, and twisting away, and then we're stepping back. Two more each side. This would be from full plank if you choose. So you're here. Make sure to open the other way as well. Stepping back to plank. So we're warming up the hip flexors, getting in some rotation. And we're firing up the core. One more each side, kneeling or toes, totally up to you. I'm extremely sore today. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. So just do what your body needs. Twisting away. Beautiful, that's good for those. All right, coming down to our back. We've done this one lots, those four W slides. So think like you're doing a lat pull down. So you're on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms come overhead. As they come down, your stomach's gonna wanna reach up to the sky, but don't let it. So pull your belly button to your spine. Make sure your back is still touching the floor. As you come down, then drive the elbows down towards the hips. Press the arms back up overhead. Then we'll come fingers to sky to reset. That's one, let's do eight more good ones here. So keep breathing as you pull your belly button to spine, driving the elbows down. Don't let the low back lift up. Coming back overhead. Good, keep going like that. So maybe your forearms are floating. If you're super tight, that's totally normal. Just get them as close to the floor as you can. If you are really tight, you could be holding soup cans or like a small weight for this, just to weight your arms down. Good, really drawing belly button to the spine. Gonna be doing a couple of push-up and push-up variations today. So we wanna get the chest nice and open. Good, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda lost count. Let's do two more good ones here. Good, one more like that. Excellent. Two more things right from where you are, some glute bridge marches. So squeezing the glutes up to the sky, pull belly button to spine, arms are on the floor. As we just bring one knee in, keeping the opposite hip lifted and switch. Try to keep your hips as high as you can the whole entire time. So we're firing up our stabilizers in our glutes. Imagining like there's a glass of water on your stomach. You don't wanna rock your hips from side to side. You wanna keep it nice and stable. Good, and as you move through, your hips will just naturally start to lower. Don't let them. Keep squeezing them up, warming up those glutes. If you know me at all, you know we'll be hitting some glutes. Good, one more here. And let it go. Last thing, we're just gonna get some spine movement in, so some good old cat cows. I'm sure you've done this in the yoga or some sort of class. So in the quadruped kneeling position, on the inhale, we're just gonna drop our belly down low as we bring our head through our shoulders, arching our back down. On the exhale, we're reversing that push into the hands, push shoulder blades away from each other, tuck the chin. Keep flowing like that for about six or seven.
one more. Again, see if you can get a little further at your end range each time you hit it. four but one of them is doing both legs twice all right so I'm going to show you them I need you to do these with me that way you have muscle memory and you know which version you need to choose so do this now option one is a plyometric side lunge meaning we're adding an explosive component so it doesn't matter what leg you start on you're going to go down if you're doing the explosive you're going to come up so as you can see I'm pushing off with this leg stabilizing with the standing leg if that's too much for you, you can just come back to the top like so instead of adding that explosive component. Okay, let's try some on the other side. So same thing, whatever version you choose. Option one would be sticking the landing. Opposite foot comes up. So you're getting a little abduction there too. Option two would be take out the jump. So you're just here. Coming back. And if you don't have weights at home, feel free to weight anything. I'm personally not because I think it's going to be hard enough. So that's thing one and two. Right leg, left leg. Next, we have close to wide push up. Again, try these with me right now. So a close push up is like a tricep push up, a wide push up. I still don't want your elbows going straight out. That's just like a not good position for your shoulder. So try to have them going somewhat back. Okay? So we're going to go wide push up. Walk it in, close push up. If it's too much from the toes, you can go from the knees as well. So it would be wide, in, close. All right, and thing three, flipping over to your bum. We're doing a V-sit or a V-sit variation. So I want you to keep your knees together for this one. We're just going out and in. So some people might call this like a tuck, whatever you wanna call it. If that's too much, Keep the feet on the floor, leaning back and forth. Still a good core workout. All right, so it's 30 seconds of each. Then we go right into the next set. So it's a six minute thing. So grab a sip of water if you need it now, because we're gonna do that three times in a row before we break again. All right, first thing is those side lunges. Going in three, two, one. So you're down and push off or you're just side lunging. Either way, it's a great booty burn. Some VLO side of your quads as well. And if you're doing the plyo especially, it's gonna get your heart rate up. Getting as low as you can on that leg, but try to keep the chest up, so avoid folding forwards too much. One more this side. Boom, other leg right away either plyo or regular, your call. I recommend you do the same on both legs if you can, so you're nice and even. But if you know you have a weaker leg, I guess you could cater to that too. User's choice. Good, five seconds here, keep breathing. Three, two, Coming down, close and wide push up right away. So start with a wide one. Walk it in, close one. Walk it out, wide. Walk it in, close. You wanna exhale as you push up in your push ups. Keeping the core tight as you walk in and out. One more here. Boom, flip it over on the bum. Right away those V tucks. So we're out and in. Or if you need to, you could just be here. Good. So with this one, you wanna exhale as you bring the knees in. Inhale out. 
Five seconds, then it's right back to the lunge. And up. One done, two to go. First leg that you did, big push off if you're doing the plyo. Otherwise, just get super low without it. You can always do a mix of both too. That's how you go from one to the other. If you're not quite able to do it the whole time, you can just do the first 10 seconds. But it's better than never trying. One more here. Boom, switch it up right away other side. Getting as low as you can, keeping chest high. Hopefully your heart rate's going up. Mine is for sure. Stabilizing with the standing leg glute as well. For three, two, come on down wide to close. Remember, you can kneel for this too. So you could be here, walk it in, and here. Otherwise, we're going full. Out, push up, in, push up. Core tight the whole time. If your back starts to snake on the way up, Good idea to go to the knees for a bit. Good, right into the B-sit. Flip it around, knees to chest. Keep breathing. Halfway. I find this one builds some heat in the core pretty quick. Five seconds, push it to the end. Good, last time we break after this round, side lunges. As soon as you're up, go with it. Good, as you get warmer, maybe you're able to go a little lower with these. Really gripping the floor with your feet, like Brandon always tells us. 10 seconds here. Three, two, other leg. Last time for this round. Doing excellent. It's Friday, folks. You're getting a total body workout in, and then you get to go into the weekend feeling like a rock star. 10 seconds. You choose right away. Exhale as you push up. Pull that belly button to spine. Almost there. Push to the end. Good. V sit. V sit or V tuck. Again, right to the end of the time. You're only ever going to get as much as you put in. I know it sucks. I know as time goes on, you kind of want to rest, but push through. That's where the magic happens. Five seconds, come on. Two. Done. Pat yourself on the back, quick sip of water, and I'll show you what's next. So it's gonna be that same pattern through all of it. We're going 30 seconds of each one. There's always something you do twice on both legs or arms. We're doing it three times. We have two more rounds to go. So the next one is a different lunge variation, forward and back lunges. So, Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Maddie. <laughs> uh, so, you're gonna start on whatever foot you start with. You're lunging forwards and back. Okay, so stepping forward, stepping back. If this is too much on your knees, if they don't like that forward step, 
You can just keep stepping back, that works too, okay? But try for both, then we do it again on the other leg. Try a couple to make sure it feels right in your body, so you're forward and back, moving through like so, okay? Second thing, dolphin with a plank jack option. So dolphin, you've done with me before, it's like dolphin in yoga, so we're gonna be on our elbow in a downward dog position. So we're here, as we exhale, we're coming into a plank, that's regular dolphin. So this is good, this is enough. If you wanna add a challenge, you're gonna go up, down, out, in, okay? So up, down, out, in. All right, if that becomes too much, just stick with the up and downs in dolphin. Thing three is a bear hold or a plyo. So in bear, bear uh, hold, you're on your hands, toes are tucked under, knees hover, okay? So this is already lots of core, this is great. You can hold this for the 30 seconds. Option two is to make it a plyo. You're landing with that hover each time, keeping the core nice and tight. Okay, so it's your call. Like I said, you can always do some of both if you're not able to do it the whole time. So those three things, three times in a row, then we rest. One more sip if you need it. Going in three, two, one. Forward and back lunges. So stepping forward, push back. Good, like I said, if your knee doesn't like walking or lunging forward, you can always just step back. Big push off each time to set you up for the other one. Five seconds here. And switch. Right away, other side. Good, same thing. You might have a leg that's like better at balancing. Most people do, that's normal. That's why we do single leg things, so we can get rid of some of those imbalances. Using the opposite arm helps. One more here. Good, down on the elbows, dolphin or dolphin plank jack. So hips are up, we come down, maybe that part, back up. Core take the whole time, using your back as well. A little bit of shoulders. Nice, good form on each rep. Good, coming to the bear. Again, you can just hold or you can jump with it. Either way, knees hover. Shoulders stack right over wrists. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Firing up that core. Couple more here. Nice, forward and back lunge right away. First leg. Good. Your legs are as sore as mine. I apologize, but I feel it too. We're gonna get a good stretch in after. And you're going into the weekend. One more, you got it. And switch, other side right away. Forward, push back. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Ten seconds only. For three, two, boom. Coming down to dolphin, with or without the jack. As soon as you're ready, go. Remember, you can always just do dolphins, 
Still a great core workout. Or you can have that plyo jack at the end. Couple more here. Nice, right into the bear. Either holding or jumping, you choose. Really wanna keep those knees just hovering so we're not here, we're here. That's gonna make the difference, feeling it in your lower abs. Might feel this in your quads too. Maybe that's just because I'm sore. Last round, right away, forward and back. Let's do it. Good. One step at a time, literally. Last time you do this one, five seconds. Good, right away other side. You know what to do now. Getting as low as you can. Don't, trust, don't touch the back knee. Coming close without touching ideally. If you do, it's okay. Less than 10, power through, folks. I feel it too, I really do. Nice, dolphin. Last one, let's go. Up and down, or with the jack. Almost there, come on. Nice, bear, holding or jumping, this is it. Hover those knees just above, shoulders right over wrists. Come into that hover each time, almost there. Looking good, everyone. Keep 
moving the whole time. That's the name of the game here. Three, two, plank walk out. So knees or toes, you choose. Starting on our regular, hands come out further, then back in. Okay, that's all it is. Keep squeezing your glutes. If you find it difficult, try widening your stance with your feet a bit. Almost there. Good. Coming to side plank, first side. I'm going elbow. I'm going to start with dips. See if I can maintain that. Whatever variation works for you. 10 seconds here. Three, two, other side, right away. Same as what you did. Squeezing the glutes the whole time, that helps. Make sure your elbow's right over your shoulder. At a time, keep breathing, keep pushing. Nice. Right back in, squat jump low high. Low out and high. Just like that. Nice light landings on the feet. Ripping the floor with your toes, sitting back in the heels. And done. Plank walk out. Take your time. Feel your core. Work harder as those hands go out. Feel the shoulders stabilize as well. Squeezing your butt the whole time. Side plank A. A meaning your first side. Soon as you're ready, dips or hold. You choose. Squeeze in the glutes. Almost there with this side. For three, two, switch. Same thing on the side. Remember, you can always do like the first 10 seconds with dips. Trying some is still better than just assuming you can't. Almost there. Right back into the squat jumps. Last time, dig deep, low out, high in. You got it. Almost there, three seconds. Nice, come on down, plank walk out. Last time, maybe you try from the toes. Squeeze the glutes. to stay or dip. Five seconds. 
seconds, you got it. Switch. Last one of these. Set it up and go. Break to the end. Come on, folks. I feel it too. Activity completed. Excellent job. Sip some water. Tell yourself you love yourself. All right. We have one more little finisher. If you've ever been to my classes in person, or I think I did this once live, you've done it before. It's called the Pyramid of Abs. So there's only three movements to this. First one is a crunch or a reverse crunch, I should say with the leg. So it's not a full leg lift. You're not going all the way down. You're just bringing your hips up. Okay. Little movement using your lower core. That's thing one. Thing two is head and legs together. So we're here doing the same with the lower body, lifting shoulder blades off the floor. Thing three, feet come down, just crunching with the head. If it becomes too much, that head only is an optional rest if you need it, okay? We're gonna start at 12 of each, counting down by two. So 12, 10, eight, all the way down to two. This is all we have left, then you get to stretch. So take a deep breath, starting with those hip ups or reverse crunch, 12 of them here, ready? Let's go. One, two, exhale each time you bring them in, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze the glutes. Eleven, twelve. Head and legs together. Shoulder blades lift up. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more like this, eleven, twelve. Feet down, you can go with these or rest if you need to. That's two, three, four. Exhale as you come up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just ten with the legs. For one, two, remember the number is getting smaller. I know the burn builds, but we're doing less each time. That's five of these, five more here. For three, two, head and legs together. Come on folks, we're pushing to the weekend. That's two, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs come down. You could rest here or join us for ten with the head. That's three. Still breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only eight with the legs here for one, two, three. Four, five, six, only two more. Seven, eight, head and legs together. Here for eight, seven, dig deep. Six, five, four, three, two, drop the legs. Just had a rest for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, just legs for six. Half of what we started with, you can do this. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Legs and head, come on, six, five, four, three, two, just had a rest, only six, five, four, three, two, just legs for four.
four, you can do this. Four, make them count. Three, two, head and legs together, come on. For four, three, two, just head, only four, you got this. No rest, three, come on. Two, two of each, you're done. Legs for one, two, both together for one, two, just head for one, and two, full body stretch. You did it. We're gonna stay laying down to stretch, just rolling onto your side, but of course, if you need water, go ahead and grab some. When you're ready, grabbing one foot, just stretching out the front of your legs. Excellent work today, everyone. Hopefully it was doable but challenging. That's how I found it. <laughs> Couple of seconds here. Good, we're gonna take that same leg, rolling onto your back, cross it over the other knee above the knee. That knee's pointing away. Then we reach through if you can, pulling knees to chest. You could also just stay here if you feel stretched there. Getting into our glutes, piriformis, that outside of your hip. Good, take one more breath here. Last thing this side, then we'll switch them all. You're just gonna allow your knees to fall over, coming into a little spinal twist. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor. Your bottom hand could come on the top thigh to weight it down. And gaze can look away from the knees. Excellent. Slowly unwinding, doing everything else, starting with the quad. I'm just flipping around so I'm not facing away from you, but you can just roll. You're at home. You don't have to face your device. You can just listen to my voice if you want. Good, keeping the knees together here as much as you can. Beautiful, rolling onto the back once more. This time this leg crosses over the other leg above the knee. Take a second here, maybe that's enough of a stretch if you're pretty tight. Otherwise you could reach for behind that leg or in front of the shin. Trying to keep your tailbone grounded. So if your tailbone lifts way up, maybe come a little bit lower on that bottom leg. Beautiful, taking both knees to the opposite side this time. Maybe that bottom hand just grounds the top knee. Then gaze can look away, coming into a spinal twist. Beautiful, coming back to center. Last one for the legs, we're gonna get into the hip flexors. So just stepping one leg forward, lunging, getting into the back hip. Those um, V tucks we did were pretty hip flexory, so wanna make sure we get into those. If you're super flexible or just super warm now, maybe you're like down here on your elbows, that's not in my practice right now. Beautiful, same thing other side, just lunging that opposite leg forward. Oh, getting into the hip. Make sure you drink lots of water today, especially if your house is hot. I'm now fortunate that we're teaching out of the yoga studio, which is air conditioned, but if I was in my apartment, it would be very, very hot doing this. So if you have an apartment that's hot like mine, Make sure you hydrate. Everyone needs to hydrate anyway, but especially if you were just sweating a lot because you're in a really hot place. Good, just a couple more. We're gonna come into puppy pose or melting heart to get our chest and shoulders. So you're in the knees, 
on the knees. It looks like child pose, but your hips stay stacked on top of the knee, walking the hands out, then lowering the chest and forehead if you can to the floor. Some people like to drop their belly low in this one. I find pulling my belly button to my spine gives me a bigger stretch, so you can just play with that on your own. Take two more breaths here. Good, slowly walk that in. And then last thing, you're just gonna tuck your chin and round out the upper back. So you can just be kneeling or seated, pull your shoulder blades away from each other. Last breath here. And release. Last thing for me, most important, always two hands up to the sky, show off your sweaty pits. One hand on the lower core, still burning, I hope. Take a bath. Thank you so, so much for tuning in now or in the future. I hope you had a great workout. Hope you have a great weekend. Check out the Navy 10K stuff, and we'll see you at your next workout. Thanks so much.